Welcome back, man. We back. We are we on location, man. Yeah, man. From the from the dojo, from the uh, from the underground hideout. As you as you heard already, this is another edition of the OG Hour. Right, by, by, by popular acclaim. <laughs> Uh, shout out to people uh, tweeting at uh, Pace. <laughs> and so, hey, I'm gonna get back with y'all. Man. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. See, now you're gonna get. Now you see, now you go. Don't do see? that, Pace. You don't promise people like, oh, Pace tweeted me. He said he's gonna tweet me back. Just wait. Absolutely. <laughs> he gonna give you that real stoic. Uh, all good. You gonna get that cool. <laughs> all good. He said cool. You might, you might, you might get, a, you might get a thumbs up. You're not gonna get a whole lot of words in that reply. <laughs> <laughs> I just know I'm acknowledging you, brother. That's all. That's it. All right, man. We got some, we got some emails for you, man. Come on, let's do it. All right, first one's coming up from Mike D. He says, "OG Owl was off the chain, man. I got this random question for Pace. This may sound ridiculous in so many levels, but did he ever look into getting a sponsorship from Pace Bacani Sauce? It had been a brilliant situation. I used to even call on Pace Bacani sometimes when I was talking to people in college about my man." Yo, love the OG hour. I cannot wait for the next one. Peace. Wow, that, that is a first of all, it, it's true because I did. First of all, when it first came out, the commercials came out, I had to ask my mom, are we related to them or something? Because I'll be dancing with them. You know, we ain't have any Mexican in us. Right. But uh, you know, obviously, you know, when when, when I first came out, you, you kind of everything that has paste on it at the time it was pancake, but paste for kind of sauce was one of those things you looked into, obviously. Um they didn't have a whole lot to do with the NFL, but uh, no, it would have been a great marriage. And still, you know, we can still do something. Ain't nothing things. off the table, Donnie. Ain't man. nothing <laughs> off the table. They right? ain't stop making money. They ain't stop making money. You know, my name ain't gonna change, so we can always <laughs> make it make happen. <laughs> but I appreciate, but I appreciate it, brother. I might look into that. Yeah, they, they, as long sweet. as they ain't had you out there uh, whipping up that salsa like on that pancake, yeah, you standing we'll, we'll in your kitchen. Won't be able to do that. Won't be able to do that. <laughs> y'all, 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 that check right. Y'all, can't, <laughs> you getting up in the morning? Now hey, you in there looking like that Bobby Brown story in that kitchen cooking up there. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, we, yeah, it's still a work in the progress, man. If you know anybody at Pace Picante, man. Hey, if that. Matt Carpenter can move sauces, you can move Picante. <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to tell you. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm Let's totally. make it happen. I bring a whole nother demographic to the, <laughs> sauce, the whole, whole different yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Dipping sauce, like hey, you know, we got everything. Whatever. All right, next up, this one is from T. Robinson. He says, on the last OG hour, you all were talking about different games that players play. What is the highest pot you've seen a, oh. a, a bet go up to within Ooh. a group of people? You don't have to mention any names. I know you all have been stressing that on the show. <laughs> but I'm just interested to see how high these pots can get. We- yo, he said, then he says, yo, this OG hour needs to go nationwide. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's serious, man. I'm telling you, gambling... <laughs> On the plane, that's what I think he's talking. It's about. ridiculous, man. I, I've seen a pot get up to seventy-five thousand. What? Seventy. And, and how long was it? How long was this we're flight? Playing, we're playing. We're from. We're probably going from the West Coast back to St. Louis, right? So that's still a nice size. Nice, nice just four or five hours. Yeah. Man, right. So we playing this game called In Between. Uh, it starts. I don't know if you ever played the game. I've heard of it. I've it never played like with dollars, but somehow. You know, guys got seventy five grand on the plane. So we got IOUs. Oh, so, so, so guys just ripping hey, off a piece of paper. Hey, hey, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm looking, man. Hold on, brother. I know you like a first year player. I know your check ain't like that. You sure you want to keep playing? <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody, it's like it's like ten or fifteen IOUs, and then we gotta we gotta figure out what you know what money you know being taken or whatnot. But I've seen seventy five thousand literally cry. I don't know what they. I mean, really play for free that week, bro. Like they, Ooh. Like when you lose that kind of money, man, like dudes are Ooh. sick on the pony. Right? So what was what did it, uh what did uh Gilbert Renus and Crittensons get up to? Oh, I can't remember. But it was in six figures, shot. wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. I've heard I've heard some bigger pots in the NBA. What is the biggest? So you seen the big? So what is the biggest pot you've heard of? I've heard like three hundred thousand. Wow, my God, three hundred thousand yeah, like, dollars. Oh. Wait, how long do you have you for this flight that you fly from? Where Dude, the, it's, it's, three hundred thousand. It's great cr- cr- because it just piles up and everybody's chasing. Everybody got egos. Right. It take a couple of guys to get hit. <laughs> Yeah, put fifty thousand in. Put so let me let me ask. <laughs> yeah, this is the, but, this but hold on, let me ask though. So what is it? What what I would imagine probably happen is you get cats that's been in the league for a second and know they got that they can body them with that money and then they force them in and then they but then the younger cats want to feel like yo I've been arrived now I got more money than I ever had in my life I feel like I can spend more than I really got right and right. then you caught up right it, it's it's no different than anything. Big bank, take little bank. You got the OGs in there who got the, the bigger contract. 
that's hey, been in the league that knows. They can't lose up. to a rookie that just, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, brother, I ain't cutting you a check. And then it, it get real intense in there, too. Like, brother, I ain't cutting you no check for 10 grand. Like, guys see, be trying to punk other guys. See, I wonder ready, how They be ready to fight, man. Because the money, you know, you start talking about 60, 70 grand in the pot. No, that's real life money. I don't care what you got. I'm talking about two or three pots like that. Oh, so there's, 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 there's multiple pots going on. Up. No, I'm just saying, after somebody win that 60, then they're they going to get it back up to see, try to get the money absolutely. back. Absolutely. Oh, so it's not 60 grand like total. This is multiple 60 so grand it could be, it could be, It could be a couple hundred grand going through a flat. Ooh. You know now, what, I mean? what happens after the 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 the, the, the what happens for the, the retrieval of funds? That's what I'm saying. That's where it gets a little. That's where it gets a little sketch. <laughs> that's where we get to a situation. We give it a real situation. We give it a real situation. Hey, sprints. bro. And I know we get paid on Tuesdays. I need I need you to come see me on Tuesday. Ooh, 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 cats, ooh. Some cats they still got a little street in them. They, they they might not want to pay. Then it get a little it get a little rough. And then know? it get heated because you get still heated. got you still got four months that you got to live with. Next you know, you see a cat folded up. In the locker room, <laughs> in the locker room. somebody that caught him with a two three piece. Yo, so like, have you ever, like, you ever, like, so you saying, like, you seen some situations where, like, it went down and then cats didn't come with it, and then it, oh, absolutely, like, does it only get settled in the locker room or you see somebody get cleaned up in practice? Or, uh, <laughs> it's it's no all out, bro. I'm telling you, there's no love lost. In that so, the, so, in other words, the kickers are not coming to play, the kickers are not coming to play. Oh, they're the first to pay them, <laughs> okay, they oh, so the they, but they'll play. play? Yeah, they play. They, they, I mean, if you're a gambler, you're a degenerate yeah. gambler. You, play. <laughs> you, say you play anything. Yeah, it don't matter what So my thing like. is, I'm sitting there looking at, my, like, all right, let's just say I'm like a fifth-round wide receiver. Mm -hmm. I'm in here. Right. I made the team. I'm in right. a good place. But then the quarterback comes to sit down. Right. I'm getting up. No, if you got, like, a veteran quarterback to sit down, the way these cats are getting paid now. Bro, I'm telling you. We looking at the fifth-round guy like, bro, bet what you can because you know. You can't bet that sixty. That sixty gonna set you back for a whole so, season. But, but like, <laughs> a whole season. That's real. That's real. That's but so, but that's with, real with, with you coming in the league though, you was number one pick. You was coming in. Cats knew you was gonna get that check when you came in. Was you coming in like, yo, I'm gonna protect this, or was you like, forget it, let's go ahead? I'm and out get here, man. Right. Right. I said, I'm out. I, I got, got limits though. I had limits though. I ain't gonna go crazy. I ain't gonna try to bet no fifty, sixty thousand. But if I see a good bet, I'm going to take it. Because, so. like, I've heard stories about in baseball where, like, you know, they travel all the time for, like, weeks on end. And they get the stipend that they can spend, you know, when they go out. And, like, the vets be like, yo, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need that stipend money for the night. I'm going to need to hold that. All you right. know what I'm what we did in the NFL, we got our per diem, too. What we did was we put everybody put their $100 in the bag, right? Mm -hmm. We shake the bag. Everybody put their number on the bag. And then we, we shake, we walk around, it's probably like three, four grand in the bag, mm -hmm. right? This is before we even take off and go. Mm -hmm. Three, four grand in the bag. They have one of the stewards pull one of the hundred dollar bills out. Whoever number it is, win the whole bag. Oh. So you can come up a quick three, or you could not be eating that whole trip if you ain't got it. Oh. So you can so come does, up. So you, do you have to, is it like a pressure to you to get oh, make all the rookies play. Oh. Oh. All the rookies play, and they really can't win. If they win, we redraw the game. <laughs> So you really just coming up off a hundred every yeah, for season. Yeah. So you 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 had negative sixteen hundred for the season you off the already, top. You off are, the top. You, you already you, you already down eight, not counting the playoffs. We can't let you win. Now I've heard about situation. What happens when somebody after they collect? Do they then go trick off their money and like? I'm because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of an Instagram error. Well, I'm gonna go and I, hey, shout out to uh, uh, oh, T no Robinson, T Robinson for this booth. No <laughs> that we got. I think I one time I went and bought me a big screen TV. That no. <laughs> Oh. Fellas, come over and check out this new this new <laughs> You know, that's before flat screens and everything. Right, but you three TV because you with the with the with the big back. Yeah, absolutely. with the big back, with the big back, with the big back, man. So that was that was it, man. And obviously, you got to floss that in the locker room, let everybody know what they just bought. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's rough. So it's serious, man. I get those gambling on the plane is serious, man. So it, it's so you've heard it's worse NBA. So oh, worse NBA. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they might they might be in the gym shooting for a hundred grand a shot, man. Ain't no telling. <laughs> you know, it, could be, it could be it could be like that. Oh, that's like, rough. What, wow, like I mean, I know it was, I knew the Javaris Curtis thing was bad, but not that it was as flowing like that. Oh, it's flowing, bro. It's probably even worse now. Oh like, yeah, see, that's my thing. I'm thinking about that pressure being different now because cats got that cash app, they got their PayPal. See, like, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that now. Right. 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 No, as soon as we get internet, right? No more IOUs. <laughs> Once we land, cash app me that. Oh no, 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 not even that. You probably got Wi-Fi on the plane. You can Absolutely. do that right immediately. Absolutely. <laughs> and you sick? Then you gotta go home and explain to your girl or your wife why Christmas. Yo, it, could that be affecting how players play on these games? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Ooh. I know a cat in college who lost big money. So, cats was playing in college? Oh, yeah. Game on the plane yeah, yeah, in college? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
cash was yeah, this is serious. Money is a little 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 lighter, but it's, it's, it's but it, 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 it hold a bigger. It's still. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's for you in college though. That's a lot cash, more weight. I've seen cash, man. I'm telling you, in tears, bro. They have, you know. College yeah. is hard. They hold, yeah, but yes. they hold, they hold a little bread check, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. Oh, I'm telling you. Your little I'm refund saying, check is gone. Know, <laughs> this probably not going to help us get hey. college players. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, He's walking around trying to steal books and take them back. Dang. Oh, that's, 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 right. that's grimy, right? Have you seen, um, uh, this is, this, now, I'm so interested in this now. Right? Right. <laughs> Have you seen an outsider come into that and like scoop up money? No, no, no outsiders. Only strictly the team. Like, okay, because I've heard stories about I heard a story about Antoine Walker getting a uh, finesse for like three hundred fifty grand yeah, in poker. No, nah, nah, you can't. No, nah, you can't come. I, I, I don't oh know, no, but that wasn't on the. No, no, no. I want to play. I was in the nah, casino. No, no, no. I've heard guys. Nah, I've seen a guy. I've seen a guy lose about a hundred grand in the casino. Oh, no. It's crazy. I refuse. Just in Vegas, I'm assuming. Just in Vegas, yeah, crazy. <sighs> One sitting. One sitting, bro. Where is Cats more likely to take? The big L though, somewhere like in the club or like Ooh, gambling. Ooh, good the question. Ooh, that's <laughs> a good question. Because you know how it is when you rotating in the club, man. It's just we that is moves, a good making question. Moves, making moves. Talk about just blowing dough. Yeah, just yeah. It in. Depends on where you at. In Vegas, you can go through it. Vegas, Miami, L.A. You can go through some real cash. New York, too, New York, New York, too, 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 New York yeah. too. Go through some, but shh, that Vegas, man. That's the worst? Is that's that the, the worst? worst? It's the worst. Because everything, everything, it's like a free, you know, if you've been to Vegas, yeah, you know, Vegas yeah. <laughs> casinos, you can lose money in casinos. <laughs> then you go to the club and blow more money. So, uh, it's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. That last, week, last week, I told a story about a, a player that you, uh, that I'm, I was about partially friends with, and you just dropped the name on there. Then everybody was like, I just, figured, no, but then it was just, messed up. You just confirmed it. Was fine. Now everybody else was emailing like, "Was well, hitting us up on Twitter?" Like, it was him. I knew it in the beginning of the story. I knew it was. Yeah, but forget it. It was Charlie Bell. I was talking Charlie about. Bell, okay. It was Charlie yeah. Bell. But he was basically he had a, a DUI that he was on, so he had the backpack with the blower. Oh, but wow. the blower was set for Michigan. Wow. We was in Vegas, <laughs> so we were like, he had bought the booth and everything. And I was like, man, because that's not my friend though. It was one of my friends' friend. And I was right. like, man, he kind of real low key, man. I mean, you know. What's going on? He's like, give about an hour. <laughs> and then he, he, he leaned into his backpack, blew, and then it was like, literally, it was like, the, like the waitress just saw him lean in, and he was all right, and then we just saw sparklers just, <laughs> just hey, walking yeah. over to the booth, hey, dude, like, and just instantaneously. Let me just say, in the club, it's different, right? In the club, because it, it turns into a competition in the club. So, know. so okay, how does this, this is it a standoff? Or like when you see you look you you sit up and you like oh no Chris and them over okay I, I, I see you yeah. Chris yeah I see a couple <laughs> players so I'm in Vegas and New Vegas is where it mainly happens because you you know you get either NBA players or NFL <laughs> players and you like dang they, they, you, and everybody got a table and you mm -hmm. look and say man you see those sparklers coming you looking at say, oh man they getting it hold on. Hey, waitress, bring me three more bottles of okay. there. No, right? Take that three, add yeah, three. three. Add you three know, in the club, when you when you see the sparklers coming, I mean, the women start coming, yeah, they everybody them. else coming, that's why dudes do it, the front, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So, nah, we can't lose. We got to look like, you know. So, so like, who is, is say you I don't know what you're going to go to. Go, say, go to it. say you in there, you know, like the NFL's in there, you got some NBA guys in there doing their thing, whatever, but then you got like an entertainer. Or like an actor or something. Like, Ooh. how does that? How does Ooh, that, that get real? Is that Ooh, like a triple threat match? Happens. Is that like a triple threat match? Because that's what it like is. That. <laughs> it is. That's what, that's what athletes feel, really feel like. Because the entertainers, man, they win it. Yeah. Oh, so it, so the entertainer would come into the mix really like right. that's, mean, a, special right that's a, a special right guest referee. That's a special guest referee. Yeah, it's the right one because they got a following out the gate. Right? Yeah, they just mm. gotta, you know, Denzel walk in, shit, everybody. Oh, yeah. Gravitating to, you know. I'm probably headed over. Like, that's you, what, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see the sparklers you yeah, going to? Yo, yeah, yeah. yo, like last week, LeBron had pictures of Denzel that came to speak to the Lakers. And like the Lakers was like, yo, Denzel here. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's, a, it's, it's amazing the amount of money that's wasted in the club. Like that. Just, <laughs> just, just, in comp just in sport, man. You get the bill, you're like, damn, 20 grand for what? You know. And you like, like, man, where everybody at? Yeah, where everybody at? You know? You know? <laughs> So is it so the competition between NBA and NFL players is it like that's a real thing when it's out like pull like in a social scenario like that where it's like 
I think I, I think it's just athlete table to table, man. So it, so it, no matter who it is. Do, right? you if you see another football player, will y'all combine against these basketball players? No, like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey man, I know we normally, right, right. Well, I know we normally go yeah. at it, yeah, but yeah, we like, need to combine our forces. Absolutely. This one. Like, hey man, sit, hey, sit this table right here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. And then we look like one big table, right? Exactly. That's what I was thinking. That's combine. Like, oh, you know yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> so y'all the NWO. That's what you see a bro walk in. NWO. Y'all the NWO. The NWO. We need, hey, we don't get no guaranteed contracts. We need to combine. <laughs> so you see, you see, I'm trying to think who was, uh, when you was in the league. I'm trying to think who was, Gilbert Arenas. Nelly. No, oh, you yeah, yeah. Gilbert Arenas Nelly, is here. Gilbert Arenas this, and then and, and the Rams is in the club together. So right. do all the Rams like do no? Allen Iverson, Nelly. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. now that ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, no. Like I'm in DC one time. AI man, first of all, because he was DC though, basically. Yeah, he, yeah, he's at Love in DC, and they were dude. I mean, they were buying bottles like crap. I couldn't keep up. I was like, no, no. <laughs> nah, he won. <laughs> is, is that an official guy. like white rag? Do you put up like a little flag? He wearing a white flag. Then you, hey, then you turn into a fan like, damn, they do got some good <laughs> <laughs> He said, hey, can hey, I bring my bottles over to you? Hey, you throw your hands up in there and be like, yeah, hey, what? What's up? You be standing, you be standing over there. You look, you be like, you you sitting to holler at your homeboy. You yeah. look over like, what? Where everybody go? Over there, <laughs> yeah. We go holler AI over here, man. man you know, you know, we, we ease on into the, the court, you know, that section. Bro. So, what is the biggest bottle poppers you've seen? Like, is there like a is there like a pantheon of bottle poppers? Oh, this is like a Charles Oakley like, yes. a conversation. Like, were you like oh, because like were you like yo when he in there? Don't even mess with them. Now, let me just, let me say, I'm going to do a little urban rumor, like yes, urban legend, okay. like stuff I've heard. Like to you, I know <laughs> I've heard AI is just. Oh, yeah. But he just, yeah, he just gave a story. Another, it's on it's another nice. place. Is, is, is there a, is there somebody like a, like a Tim Duncan that you would look at and be like, oh. you would be like, I didn't even know this was in you, but. I really want to throw nobody under the bus, man, but uh, this is, this is brother I seen somewhere and I was like. I don't want to. He's a good dude. Yeah. I think he, the perception of him is a good dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I seen him in the, in the club one time. I was like, oh, oh, he got the he about yeah, that. He got that action. He got that action, bro. And I like it. You like it? You be thinking it changed your whole cut. perception of him. You think he a square cut? You like, oh no, he's living his best life in this joint, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking. So, so give me the pantheon of the best bottle poppers you've seen, where you like, yo, and you see that they got a booth. They got a booth ahead of your booth. Like, you come in, like, let me get a booth. Nah, I can't do that tonight. <laughs> and he'd be like, damn, who is it then? And they right. show him, you like, oh, damn. Right, yeah, okay, <laughs> I, okay, I get it. You know, you know who you stay? I'm going to say who's, it wasn't even in the club. It was in the strip club. These cats used to come with hundreds, 200, like Pac-Man Jones, man. Oh, oh wow. Was, when, he, when he was in this prime, like, fresh. You talking about, like, Tennessee Pac-Man. I'm talking man. about this dude coming with a couple hundred grand in, in, in garbage bags to the strip club, just throwing it up in the air, bro. I'm like, come on, man. Oh, wow. That's when they're making it rain. They yeah. Like, yeah. So, so so you see why the melee happened with him. Yeah, absolutely. The, with, with the absolutely. situation. So in other words, yeah. you've been watching the draft some years and seeing some cats get drafted some places and you just like, damn. That ain't a good look. That's I probably, do that. <laughs> oh, he, probably, yeah, he, he probably should be in Green Bay somewhere or something. Oh, so is it, do you know ahead of time and you look at him like, mm. That ain't going to work. <laughs> him in Miami just ain't going to work, bro. You look at a player, you're like, nah. I've done that. I'm like, shit, That's I'm, how we are with the Hawks for I'm NBA. Glad, I'm glad I'm in St. Louis. Shit, that changed. Like when you go to a different city, where think about how many dollars got saved for you when, they, when, the Jets, you. when the Jets traded that's that what pick. I'm trying to tell you. He said it saved my life. Oh, saved my life. And it probably added about three, four more years to my career. Wow. I think a city can do that to you, though, right? I know some cats that play for the uh, the Falcons, bro. Because they, they try to keep up with the Diddies of the world, the Jays of the world. And you got Vic. You got to think Vic was down there. Yeah, absolutely. So he was running. was running. on the city. You know what I mean? So you got to go through some cash if you want to compete with them type of dudes. Now, now do the Green Bay dudes, when they do get around, you're like, oh, we got to make up for it. Oh, like, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking like, I got, I got cash game. saved. <laughs> the last game, they're like, oh, no, we out of here. What's your top three? I think we might have talked about this before for the sake of where we at here. What's your top three saving grace cities? If you go here, you might be able to keep your cash. I know Green Bay gonna be Green Bay. There. Green Bay was one. I'm gonna say, um, oh, ooh, that's tough. Uh, Buffalo. Buffalo. That's <laughs> another that's one. Good one. What's another one? Um, Obscure NFL towns. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, on the low, would Carolina, be good? Carolina wouldn't be. What about bad. Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. 
bad. Midwestern towns, probably cities wouldn't be bad. Denver, maybe. Uh huh. That's what I was thinking. Minnesota, somewhere like Minnesota, where it's cold. Yeah, you don't want to be much. out. Yeah, but you got KG up there at the time. Yeah, it was hot. Too, I heard though. he was the. He, I heard he was the king bottle popper in Minnesota. Indianapolis. Yeah. See, yeah, you can get no, you can get in trouble a little bit in Indianapolis now. Oh yeah, Indianapolis. Because this is around, this is around. Uh, <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> Stephen <not> Jackson. <laughs> hey, no, what I heard they was running the strip clubs yeah, out there back then. Yeah, Minnesota had that love boat incident out there. Oh, that's, that's true. Right. That's Tell right. They was living a good life. Right there. <laughs> that's oh, right. You, you can truly get caught up anywhere in this Detroit, world. But Detroit, <laughs> Detroit is like yeah, Detroit is like on par with St. Louis too. You know I mean? Yeah, that seems about right. That yeah. seems about right. But St. Louis was jumping, man. When we were, but that's but that's that was a perfect storm on top period. You being here. Absolutely. It's Nelly was not. jumping. Y'all winning. Absolutely. Like the Cardinals are winning. Like Absolutely. it was like the Blues, Blues were winning then. Like no, Blues kind of, the Blues, no, Blues, the Blues was, was winning. winning. Yeah, yeah, the Blues were winning. Yeah, man. He was on fire though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Blues Louis went to the Western Conference Finals one of them years. St. Louis was St. Louis is top three hottest city in America in 2000, 2000. Absolutely, it was jumping Absolutely. easy. Absolutely, it was easy. jumping around here like yeah. like unbelievably jumping. Like you didn't even need to leave in the. In the off season, no. St. Louis. He said no. He said no. It was great. It was great. It was a great time, man. I'm telling you. Dang, man. That's man. I'm, we might have to do a whole episode on this bottle popping dudes, man. Because I'm interested. In, that's like, taking me back, dog. <laughs> it's funny in retirement. You're like, damn, I wasted a lot of money in the club. We just started to get those college bills. We started, we started, we started to see. Like, the, the, that was my, that was my first thing when I retired. Like, yeah, I'm not giving up the bottle popping until you get in the club and you see a couple cash. You're like, dude, I got more money. Than him. Bring me three more bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I can say, I can say, out of any of the times that we've ever went out to the club, though, you have been the most adverse person to that life because you it's like you've ran those laps. I have. You're like, have. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. good. Just run me this vodka. Give me this Absolutely. vodka. Absolutely. Whatever. whatever it is. Let's whatever we do. Just, just give me something I can get a table before I don't have to be, be at the bar. That's the plan. Let's get these. Let's drink these Jack tickets. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and once these tickets go, <laughs> we're getting out of here. We're out of here. That's it. Let's <laughs> drink the Jack tickets. I'm you. So with, with uh, so this going to next out next email, we might we might as well just make this a uh, listener join as many questions we got. Uh, dope show as always, fellas. This OG hour. How did the concept even come about? And also, does Pace thought about doing commentation in general moving forward in the future? Also, this is a obscure question for Pace. But how much does he think Ohio State got played when it came to the college football playoff? <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you one person was going to slide it in. There's going to slide it in. Somebody's going to try to slide it in. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think we got played. I think when that, whenever you lose to uh, to Purdue by 30 <laughs> points, you don't deserve to be in the college football. <laughs> Just playoff. in general. Just in general alone. Uh, we didn't, you know, obviously there's some good teams up there. I think we were playing good football, but, you know, when you take it, we, when our loss was that bad, it didn't, it didn't make sense for us to be in the, in the playoffs. But I think how we got this whole thing started, the OGI, mm -hmm. um, just sitting around hanging out with guys. I think, you know, Matt's a part of that, that crew, and he, he just kind of hang out. We talk about the same topics that you mm -hmm. guys talk about. Mm -hmm. I think what happened is y'all had the finest. <laughs> yeah, that's guys. right. Oh, and, yeah. I, and, I was, and I was like, <laughs> Matt, you know, back and forth, like, man, how'd you got, how did she win? Yeah, you know, he, this, that, and the third. I said, y'all got to have me come on so I can play. <laughs> yeah, old demanded answers for that bracket. <laughs> yeah, I did. And, then, right. and then he was like, right, yeah, no, I'm going to need to come on. We're going to need to straighten that. We got to straighten out. this out, though. I mean, so that's why we had looked at this winter um, expanding the lady bracket, and we're gonna have um, executive consultants involved. Yeah, absolutely, we're gonna, we're gonna expand it to sixty-four. We're, yeah, it's just like when the NCAA tournament had uh, too many conferences. Right, you gotta right, expand yeah. the well, field. It's just like it's just like speaking of which, this is a branch off question off the question about Ohio State. Mm -hmm. What do you think about them expanding the eight teams? Do you think you think that's just a gateway to be like, well, why not twelve? Why not sixteen? Yeah. Or do you think it should be a bigger? Where does it stop at that home? point, though? Right? right? Where does it stop? And I, I mean, know? I got the me and him have an argument about it, but. If we get to eight games and stuff, man, y'all gonna have to stop paying these cats. Like at some point, absolutely. like absolutely. you got them playing twelve absolutely. conference games and a conference championship, absolutely. and then making them play two or three more games. Absolutely. Yeah. If you got them playing two or three <laughs> games in the postseason, come on, man, they got to cut a check because yeah. all those big sponsors you see, dude, that's big money, that's big business. Yeah, right. I mean, each time you go to a bowl, I mean, the, the we were talking about this like the bowl game, the names of them, I mean, that's money yeah. right there. It's all absolutely. lined up already. Why aren't they getting a piece of that cut? And especially if you're gonna span that season, I mean, like if you add these rounds to the playoffs, it's gonna be an NFL schedule. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Maybe even worse at that point if you're talking about well, and, twelve uh, plus a conference championship plus three more games. You got you got an NFL season. I mean, yeah. and aside from Kevin <laughs> currently getting overzealous on the plane, ain't nobody playing for free in the NFL. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm never gonna think about none of that ever the same again. I'm gonna start thinking like he, they playing themselves in the league. 
Hey, Maui must have been a bad trip out here yeah, to Seattle for like, this game. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, why, that's, why, that's why they say don't take, don't bet the spread on somebody crossing the time zones. Don't take that person who got that, that game from the East Coast to the West Coast. because yeah, uh, Gambling could be a part of that. Or, oh, and this is a side question. With that, were there certain cities where you knew that they were playing there, they was probably going to lose because of the city was so live? Is Atlanta one of them or was like... Cause they say LA for basketball. Like, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. got a back to back in LA, and they say like they got a day off in between that game and the oh, yeah. LA game, bet against that team. Yeah, I think I think there's all the hot cities. When you look at it, you think about New York. Um, there's so <laughs> much going on in the city, right? If you, and that's why when we traveled there, he had us way out in New Jersey by the airport. Oh, so really? Mm. By the time you got there and got back, you couldn't do it. And, and NFL is different because we there probably the night before a meeting, so we pretty much locked up too. Not like baseball or, or the NBA where you might have a day off. Or, yeah. But Miami's one of those cities. I remember Mike, I, don't, I think he played us because he knew we would probably go out. It was a preseason game. He's like, dude, I'm just going to rest on the stars. I know y'all out in the streets. <laughs> so, uh, but no, it was a good time. But, you know, Miami's one of those cities. Um, San Francisco is a good city to get out. You know, obviously, if we would go out there on a Friday, we could, we, could, we could get out a little bit and have some fun. So. Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, how often do y'all, like, cross over when y'all are there with, like, the other squad? Like, if you out of town <laughs> like, like that. Like, it's ever, like, like the Warriors. Like, do y'all ever, like, no, hey, I'm going to this town. My guys plays down there. We're oh. going to be good. Oh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. I'm okay. sure you got some buddies in town, and, you know, you know he'll, he'll, he'll shoot you a text earlier in the week. Hey, we're in the same city. Let's get out, grab some dinner, grab some meat. Okay. Get out a little bit. So it's, yeah, it's that's, fun. That's what's yeah, up. Absolutely. That's like the ultimate homecoming right there. You got your homeboy you got drafted with. We both came in this bread. We <laughs> was good. eating we was eating this uh we was eating this commissary meal on campus this time. Oh, last or year. or <laughs> you owe me ten grand from the plane flight from back I, in uh ninety hey, six. <laughs> I need that check. Need that <laughs> you need to buy these bottles when absolutely. we come in town. Congratulations <laughs> on, on getting picked up. I'm glad welcome to the league. <laughs> You still owe me And with interest, because I, that's because I can leave before you, though. So it's, it was 6% compounded per month. I was thinking about it. Like, can I stick it when you make it to the league? You might have a couple of college. No, I still want that bread. It's the principality. It's the principality. It's the What do you think? I, you know, I'm glad you said that. What do you think is the misconception people have about the type of money that athletes make and, like, how it impacts, like, your view on like finances and what like you know whether it's somebody that was like in your family or like a right. friend or somebody like asking you for something like that be like hold up like I just I, I got more money so my expenses are still higher but they're right. still my expense like how do you feel about like that perception? Let me say the biggest misconception there is and family they're, they're horrible about this right? Mm -hmm. When people see you get a hundred million dollars on, on, on television you don't actually get a hundred million dollars. Right, yeah. this, this Uncle Sam got to get his half. Right. You got an agent, you agent, got your lawyer. You know, you got so many. You know, so it, and you don't get it all today. <laughs> I think people think when they see you get a hundred million dollars over seven you years, you got it right now. <laughs> he got a hundred million dollars today. Right. Oh no, you got time. You got time. You got you got. You get a hundred million. What you over the lifetime of it? You gonna probably see what forty five? Easy, if that. You know what <laughs> I mean? So you know. After Uncle Sam get his, and, and people, it's hard for people to understand that because they think it's, it's life changing for everybody, bro. It's just, right. You know, you can blow through that money. When you look at what Mike Tyson did, MC Hammer, them type of cats that blew through like three hundred million, bro. You can th you can go through it, man. I think the kind smart. of kind of thing that like talking to people like yourself and talking to other friends of mine, you know, play pro ball. They say like, listen, like look at it this way. Like when you might talking to me, they say like maybe when you're like 50, 55, you might still be on the increase or like peaking. He's like, I'm gonna make this money up front when I'm in my 20s and in my 30s, and then I need to set myself up to continue making that money that right. time. And I think that's something else that people kind of forget about that lifestyle. Well, too. what it what it is 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 not not that it's easy to make that kind of money, but once you got it, it comes in when you you like you said your 20s, early 30s, and you're not even thinking. Is the worst the, the the hardest part about it is is how do you keep it and maintain it, right? How do you how do you have a lifestyle lifestyle where you can still be comfortable and maintain it and work at your leisure, where you don't even have to work or you, you can work as hard as you want, you right. know what I mean? Be real flexible with your work schedule. But it's about keeping it and maintaining the lifestyle. That's that's the biggest key. Because cause you get somebody give you $50 million when you're 20, you got to make that thing last till you're 80. Right? <laughs> and you got to invest it right and do the right thing. So so did, when you see when you saw broke the uh, documentary from um, thirty for thirty, did you like? Oh, this all makes this is all. Oh yeah, it was great. I think it was. I think that was probably the best, one of the best documentaries I've seen because it kind of get people, you know, the reality of the situation. When you see, and I've seen it personally. I've seen guys, third, fourth, fourth round guys come in the locker room, 
iced out chains on, you know, Escalades, Benz. Like, dude, you can't afford that, bro. You can't maintain You're a third, fourth round pick. You're a third, fourth round But he's trying to live like a first rounder, right? Mm -hmm. And the biggest misconception with guys in the league is they think they have more time than they actually have, right? Mm. So when they sit there and they get their first big deal, they almost think that their second deal is automatic. And it's not. A lot of guys don't make it to that point. Three and a half years is, 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 is the average. And guys don't always make it to that second contract. And that's really when you make the majority of your money is that second contract. When is it? Is it? Is the When is retirement? Five? Is it where you get a pension? Uh, three. Yeah, three, right? Yeah, so three, if you get three, three you can get a pension. Three, three, three years, three games, yeah. yeah. I got a buddy of mine that was like three years and like two games. Yeah. Oh. He was hot. Yeah. He was hot about so it. So I caught it on a, I think it was on an injury designation yep, yep. for costume. Yep, yeah, yep, that's, yep. that hurts. Yeah, that hurts big time, so. All right, let's. Let's go on. Uh, since we uh, we we gonna we only just say some of these emails for some the next one because we got some couple of topics. Um, pick, pick two more. Pick, pick two, two more. more two more. Okay. Good that they, if they took time to do it, I guarantee you we'll get true. more of them. Because this one's long, though. I mean, this was like five paragraphs. I don't even know if I want to well, read. That's it. ridiculous. Yeah. That's not an email. That's a dissertation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he's talking about all kind of asking all kind of random stuff in this. Okay. Is there a good question within that one or no? Um, well, he's asking about Ohio one State because um, <laughs> he's from Columbus. Oh, and, uh, well, I mean. You got to do this. Shout out to our folks in Columbus. Yeah, shout out to our folks in Columbus. Just checking it out. Almost, he says something about he's from Worthington. Okay. Um, being being on the college campus at Ohio State, how does it feel being there dip, there now from when in the past because of the expansion of how Columbus has gotten bigger over time? That's what I mean. That's oh, great, man. Every time I go back to uh, to Columbus, man, it's, it's, it's night and day from when that's 20 years ago. Yeah. Uh, when I was in school there, and uh, it's, it's, the city's grown so 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 much, and uh, you know, every time I go back, it's always love, and I'm excited to get back. Um, I'm passionate about a few things in my, in my life, and the Buckeyes are one of them. Right? So <laughs> I'm always uh, I'm always excited to get back. Shout out to that dude at Top Golf to try to take a picture with you at Michigan. Had us, yeah, like, no, that's yeah, a bad yeah, decision, yeah, bro. We shut that down. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody that need to be uh, shut down. Shout out to uh, Little Bow Wow. Uh -oh. Oh, Bow Weezy. Uh -oh. You're from Columbus. Is my that's, what I said, that's what I was, that's what I was hey, segueing on in. The first time I went to Columbus, I was like blown away by like the size of the city. Because I it's didn't big. expect it. And then I got there and I was like, yo, they got like like a downtown. It looked like Clayton. Like oh, yeah. Yeah, people in nice. St. Louis again. Yeah. But I was like, yo, they have like a whole professional sports team here that's not the Buckeyes. Because <laughs> don't, don't make any mistakes about it. The Buckeyes are a professional <laughs> sports team. <laughs> yes, they are. And, and I looked at it, but I was like, yo, they got an NHL team here. I was like, this is no college town. Yeah. This is a straight-up city. And it's nice. It's one of the prettiest cities, like, like clean-wise, I've been to. Yeah, it's a nice city. Great city. Like, really you, nice. like, almost to the point when I went to, the, I went to uh, one of my friend's girlfriend lived in the projects, I was like, this ain't no projects. Like, <laughs> this ain't no projects. This is a townhouse. Hit you, that, hit you with that Inglewood feel. Yeah, <laughs> 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 palm trees. You'd be like, this ain't okay, dangerous. Okay, yeah, don't slip. No, 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 no. I was like, oh, Oh, you saw the clientele that you knew what was up. Right. But I was talking about just you just visually looked at the oh, homes. Right. You're like, these is townhouses. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's right. like North County. Right. You know, <laughs> parts of North County. What, what are we doing here? Right. But bow easy, man. Um, I took a lot of flack this past week. I, I feel vindicated, yeah, you, though. Walk us through, like, your journey. There's a reason why we're doing this. But, like, yes. So I put up I put up a post about bow. I said, Bow Wow's fall off is like Alice in Wonderland falling down the rabbit hole. Because he has so many different levels of the fall off. It just seems like it's constantly going down and down and down. It's never ending. And somebody, and first of all, I mean, if he getting that, so he's uh, promoting wave, wave uh, do rags, y'all. Yeah, let's go. And he's on, a, like, a, he's on all of them. Like, Where are they like, being sold, though? Where are they being sold? Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> and he's on the cover, too, with no shirt on, the wave cap on, and he's a part of the packaging. Tattoos, everything out. First, people were like, if he got money in it, it's all good. I was like, I don't know, man. I don't see him having that foresight to be like, you know what? I'm going to own a do-rag company. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> when do you sit down and get to the point where you're like, you know what? I'm going to buy a do-rag company. <laughs> like, who brings that to you? Because unless you got a different set of mind with me. Like, because at some point, somebody came to Master P and was talking about, I got some chips that I want to make. We want to put your son on the front of it. Raps, with the rap snacks. And he's still making money off rap snacks. Yeah, to this day. 5,000 years later after they first dropped. Mm -hmm. But how does that conversation start? Like, yo, oh, I got a great idea, man. 
I got a do rag company, right? <laughs> and we want to toss you on the front of it, dog. This is an opportunity. Wait, look, hold up. This, 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 this is the first part. The, no, the first part right. goes. We don't have that much money. <laughs> hey, that's, the, hey, that's the first one. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, but, my whole thing is, and I don't wear do rags, but if you if you wear, are you buying a do rag solely based if buy wise on the on it or not? That's what? the question you really yeah. have to ask yourself. That may turn me off. <laughs> <laughs> like like man, I can't get the but but dude, cause 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 somebody like Matt will come over my crib and I it'd be happen to be when I have the wave cap there and it's in the trash. He's throwing away a beard. He's like, right. hey man, you got what's up? <laughs> you got the bow wow do rag? Bow sitting there in that trash. <laughs> like, help me. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You know. I'm like you. I don't. I'm not hating on anybody yeah. who's getting a check. Um, I, I was kind of hating though. I was kind of hating. hating. I was kind of hating. Them. Yeah. You know, obviously, you still got to have standards as a as a as a dude. I don't know how much you know. The check had to be large, probably, man. I guess. No, that's for a dollar fifty do rag. Yeah, yeah. What's the markup on that? Wait, hold up. So now, also, is a throwback to the last episode of the scenario. Uh oh. The 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 uncrowned, never to be crowned, king of R and B, <laughs> Jaque. Jaque has got Bow Wow co-signing him on the internet. Yeah, I saw that, man. You said, but then they said. When you need a co-signer, but he got bad credit too. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh, I just thought about that. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you take your co-signer with you, and then his credits all wrapped up in do rag stock. Oh. So all the people were getting on me. It's like, man, you hating on a man that's owning a company. So, so uh, somebody got in, uh, somebody was hating on me. Then I guess they did the research. Came back was like, oh no, you're horribly right. He don't own this company. He's just endorsed by him. <laughs> he does his endorsement wow. for, for them. Wow, I, I thought about this. Like, where do we retired rappers go, though, right? I think we just get into yeah. like the first generation of when rappers are getting to start to retire. I mean, I think they should have a pension for rappers, though. Like, but you need to put into this fund, though, as you coming up. Like, oh, absolutely. Like right. into like Atlantic Records, you have a, a thing you put in, right? Five dollars a month, and then you can right. get some money on the back end, right? But Bob been on the scene since what? He was a little ninety-three. Yeah. yeah, I remember he was on there with Snoop on our senior hall. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, like this whole life has been this. I mean, really, the normal path for most musicians, if it was anything, is to be like an AR or somebody at the label yourself right. and start jerking other people right. yourself. The Michael Bivens <laughs> method. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let you slander Michael Bivens. Wow, wow. That's one of my goals in life is to be Michael Bivens. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying it's a bad plan, <laughs> but it's a plan. It's a plan. It's it's a plan. plan. Look, look, I always want to be the dude that I just had just enough dance steps to be in the background and just enough to be around people to be able to get that money in the background. <laughs> <laughs> the way they, they just massively broke it down in that movie so well and it was just like hey, yo dog, I see you out here jerking us around show me how you do that <laughs> <laughs> hey do you pay a guy like that the same amount you pay a, a, a Ralph Trasman or something or do you think that cut was all equal ooh Oh, no, that's a good because question. Michael Business said, I got the business plan, Ralph. Like, you've been Ralph Tresman multiple times here. Right. There's a mean, term that these guys in the podcast have uh, pointed yeah, about. I mean, Bobby wouldn't... Brown, you know, you got to pay Bobby more money. See, Bobby, oh, Bobby gets Bobby, more money. Bobby wasn't getting that same cut, though. That's why Bobby right, had yeah. it was good to go solo. But Bobby, gets the mo Bobby probably gets, I probably think Bobby might get the most cut now. You talking about when they on tour now? Yeah. I mean, if you're in a group, BBD's in a group. You always okay. get a group bread. You tell me this. If Bobby isn't showing, how many people not going to go see New Edition if, and then if Ralph not there? We just saw a packed show and we went to go see them. We, we went to that show if Bobby Brown wasn't there. You think you, we would win, you think? I don't think so. No. Yeah. But if it was Ralph, we'd have been like... It would just be a New Edition show. Right. That's I my point. went for New Edition. Yeah. But, but Bobby is that extra spice yeah, on yeah, it. Because you know he going to do something during the show. I just looking at Bobby be alive is enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Bobby is still here. He is a national pro the treasure. Right? Well, absolutely. absolutely. And he's been through a lot, man. Like, have you heard this? Uh, like, uh, since we can even talk about some more current, y'all seen the forty two and one, the uh, Mike Tyson and Buster oh, Douglas yeah, yeah, documentary? Yeah. Dude, I saw that. I, I haven't <laughs> watched it yet, but I remember the day. Okay, dude, so dude, I, I was I only was ten. Crushed. So I was on. I was crying. I was crushed, bro. And I didn't have money though, so I didn't find out till Monday in school <laughs> See, or whatever. Because I didn't find out till Monday in school, <laughs> and I cried at school. And somebody no. thought so, one of my parents had died. Because like, <laughs> it was at school, like they thought <laughs> I found out in the morning. And my mom had died. So. I just said that the other day. I said, "Dude, I was crushed when he got beat." So you man. watched it live when it happened. Live when it happened. I was crushed. So bro. how? What was that kind of? I couldn't believe it because you know, for us, this dude was everything. Everything, bro. <laughs> yeah. You, you thought he was the baddest man on the planet when we were yeah. coming up. 
Yeah. Because he's knocking cats out in 30 seconds. Like, you better, I'm like, dude, I want to be like Mike. Man. But they said Bob, Bobby said he was out with him till 6 in the morning. And he was like, hey, man, um, we, uh, he's like, they had like, a gang of women in their room. He's like, he was like about right. yeah, he said, he said, hey, uh, Mike, man, on the real, though, it's like five in the morning. Like, don't you kind of got to go? He's like, it's Buster Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bum. <laughs> I'll be back here by five. <laughs> hey, but it's true. He, he, he wasn't the same after that. Ever though, no. right? Mike, no. No, well, that was the last fight before he caught that. No, he put fought Razor Ruddy two times. Oh, that's day. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he had that, that thing thought, on Razor Ruddy. And I thought when that happened, I thought that because Mike lost that fight, they took him off punch out. Because that other punch out came out. Oh, the, no, he wanted a hard check. No, I know, but I was. <laughs> oh, like, you saw just in general in your life. like seven. So I was like, <laughs> like, yo, Mike lost it all. He ain't on punch out no more. I was like, damn. Let me ask you guys a question. Yeah. You know, when we were kids, do they still have those iconic figures? LeBron James. LeBron James is the only yeah. one. Steph Curry. But when you look at in boxing, different sports. So we had boxing. We Floyd. had Mike. Yeah, but it's, it's, do, do our children look at Floyd that way the way we look at Mike? I don't think so. Uh, no, man. We had a lot, though, man. We had Jordan. We had Jackson. We had Tyson. We had, you know, we just had so many. Like, I think we had a rare level of icon coming yeah. through at that particular like, time. Like, it seemed like boxing was trying to force people on us after Mike, too, though. Yeah, but because you know after what? they made a Buster Douglas game, remember that Sega did like yeah, 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 right yeah. after that, and then he yeah. lost the next fight. Oh, yeah, so it was yeah, like yeah. nothing. You know what it is? I think in bo- <laughs> from the boxing, we just need a good American heavyweight though to get behind. Yeah, I agree. With I the impact watching, that uh, Mike had, and then, I, I don't know if we got one. Right? I was watching that the water too earlier today, and I was like tripping off how you got this dude that like I was thinking like how dope it would be to have like a a, a Mike jo- a Mike be a uh, Donna Screed. Right now, like he would be a superstar, like a crazy superstar, a young, flashy black dude that's 23 and one knocking cats out. Like he would be a superstar. We missing that. Yeah, I think I think that. Um, I, yeah, I mean, even if you expand on the 80s, you had like Hulk Hogan. You had like all I of these. Cats. Figures, though, right? And another, another a part of it, I do. I think that everybody think they're a superstar in their own right, too, though. Yeah. Because I can go on Instagram and give me 10,000 followers. Now I'm somebody. I don't need to look up to nobody else because I'm a superstar. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> and I think social media has done that for us. So in, in another way also, because when Mike was coming up, we didn't know what Mike did off the court. Exactly. Well, well we well, kind of did. Kind of sort Because we got all the reports with, still, with all the women. Yeah, but it, was like, it, wasn't, it wasn't real time. Yeah, no, yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't. No, like, you're We right. didn't know what these cats were doing. There's no right? way that LeBron James could be getting ready to play the Nets. And then be like, I'm gonna roll to Atlantic City until 4:30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. TMZ would be, like, no, right? TMZ would eat that up. So we oh. know more about their personal lives. And some aspects is really good, but you can see some of the bad sides too. And you're like, oh, I don't know if you, I don't know if I want my son to be, a, you know, have him as a, you know. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I agree. Which makes LeBron James even more ridiculously like. Like I like I fear for him every. It's like I fear for LeBron every day. Like a kid, that just, like your kid to go out in the world, and you like, man, I don't want him to get shot because it's like anything that happened to him, that fall is gonna be so epic. They waiting for that for him to catch him up with one woman, yeah. one weed I pipe, the, that's one the, uh, something. They waiting that's for that's the Barack Obama effect, right? We we felt the same way with Barack. Didn't we? Like we just scared yeah. for him. Like just, just don't do nothing. Like I don't want nothing to happen to you. Like just scared for Barack. Yeah, yeah like it's like you don't want nothing to happen to him. Like even if I saw him doing something, like, hey man, you need to leave, dog. Absolutely. But I, would, I don't even have to know Absolutely. you, LeBron. LeBron, Absolutely. you just go home. Right, right, <laughs> just go right, home. Right, right. Yeah. There's, there's guys out there, and he's, I mean, he's played it well, man. He's done everything, you know. Because well. that fall is going to be, like, it's sit, this, Cause it's sitting there. Everybody's waiting, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's waiting for it, mm-hmm. you know? which, is, which is tough, man. You live your life under the light like that, and every move you make, you can't even go out to dinner with, with your wife and, and without being scrutinized or somebody had cameras in your face. Have you had that issue? Like what? Like no, that's the great thing about it. And I, and I, when I was a kid, I always, I always wondered about like Jordan, right? Like, dude, like I wonder if they miss like the, like the small things in life, like just going to the movies, going to the corner store, picking up, you just know, going to pick up some eggs. Yeah, going to pick up some eggs, though, right? But I think about LeBron. To your point about LeBron, I think that's why he liked Cleveland so much because he can he can maneuver around Akron and, and people, you know, they're not know, tripping. They're not tripping as much. Yeah, because right? he grew up there. It's kind of like up there. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, I've seen some things where he was in some stores, some local stores there, just shopping with his wife. And I think those are the things I think a lot of guys miss the normal stuff that uh, that they they don't get a chance to do. Anymore. Like when the Rams were winning, did you have that issue or like? You know, Saint Louis like... has always been good. And obviously, I can't hide. I'm six seven. <laughs> you know, so my only issue was if I got a piece of if I'm eating a meal, like you know, that's not interrupting. Let me finish my meal. Yeah, right. 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 Like that. So, 
Uh, Comment, I think the thing that people kind of get lost is they. I think people look at it like opportunity. They be like, I might not ever get this chance again. Let well, me look, just completely right. forget. Mentioning like, mention the opportunities. <laughs> how I would, oh yeah, you. <laughs> like how you just would completely like forget your regular ways you would treat somebody else or how you want to be treated yourself. Like, See, that's how I felt. I, I, so I was. I, I went to New York this week for work. Well, Fox, this past week for work. Fox two. Thought tour, uh, thought 2000, tour, East Coast Edition. East, Coast, East Coast Edition. He's been on a thought tour for the last few weeks. <laughs> He's calling it, because like, I travel yeah. for work all the time. And so I, yeah. I, I, but I started taking pictures with my food and stuff. And he's okay, like, okay. I'm doing what women do online. He okay, said, I, I, think somebody, I think somebody rich be flying. <laughs> I think he be flying. But the presentation is everything. Right. You got to show everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm coming out of my hotel, going to work. And I look to my right, and it's Andre 3000. Right. We're standing outside. And I'm like, I'm holding my phone and I'm like trying to figure out which which way I need to go on the subway and I'm like man I should but I don't want to mess with him he seemed like he was getting ready to do his thing and I'm and then so like I'm keep I'm kind of acting like I'm looking at my phone but I'm trying to look and make sure it's him and he starts laughing because I think he know that I think I know it's him and then I was like man I'm gonna kind of fall but then I was like now turn around I was like man I'm gonna then he jumped in the van ah. but I was because I, I don't want him to be he was doing right. something chilling I don't want no, him to be no. like no, no, that's I mean that's you know grown man rules you yeah know, I didn't want to be like be like that cat I mean I could, but I mean you know. I mean, do, who, do you have a list of people that you're willing to break protocol? That was one of them, man. And my wife was like, you should just say, hey, my wife want me to get a picture with you. Right. And just and just kind of played it like that. Played it like that. that that's what she said I should have done. All right, so, all right, so here's the thing. This past weekend, too, at my homeboy's wedding, he had Mace come out and perform <laughs> Mace. in the middle of the thing. And I was right. like, oh, yo, that's dope. It's Mace. It ain't like Jay-Z walked out or like nothing like that. But I was just like, yo. The fall I, of Mace, though. We have, to, we have to talk about that at some point on one of these episodes. Is, is he a preacher? Is he not? <laughs> he, I think he's done with that life. Okay. <laughs> he, 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 he wasn't drinking or nothing. Was he in a cult or something? I, I don't know. I think that was who was Loon. Loon was the one that yeah, got, in the, got in the cult. That was always funny. How did he come out in his own video? He was still number two. Wasn't he on that Puffy Mace video? Was oh, he yeah, number two? He was in his own stuff and it was just like. Oh, no. Loon's also in the um, Fed, too. Yeah, I know. But he's in federal jail. in another cult net, too. But No, he was in he went to uh, Islam. He went to Islam. <laughs> Shut up, man. You can't say Islam is a cult, man. I didn't say it. But you did. Oh, no, I did not say that. I would never say that. I just looked at you, and I was just like, you know, <laughs> you take be going on a ride sometimes when they don't know exactly what they Because that's what the fizz is on. The only reason you went to Islam because the fizz is on. But continue your main story. All y'all I'm saying was did related. Did you fangirl girl out with Mace or not? No, man. I, 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 no, I took a picture with dude. I was like, hey, man, it's good to, good to meet you. Get a picture? He's like, yeah, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But I did it after my girl got the picture, though, first. <laughs> See? And I was like, it's important that she gets the picture first. And then the dude still got some time. Then I'll do it. But I'm like, I wasn't finna be throwing kids out the way, throwing hey, women. Mace, nah. go take a picture with me. You made Mace's day, man. <laughs> <laughs> you think Mace get that everywhere? Probably not. Brother? No, That's probably what I'm not. saying. Probably probably not, he was winning. He was winning. It was a good day for him. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a good day for <laughs> Mace. Absolutely. I've seen, we've been out, and I've seen people that want to take pictures with you before. And it's and I'm always, I'm just like, they they always, but it's a difference. Mace is like 5'11". Yeah, he can sneak in. Andre 3000 like 6'3 by like yeah, 175 he's, he's 6'3 yeah. Like yeah, he's but Cass be like measuring up whether they want to approach you right, right. they be like damn this motherfucker is <laughs> a lot bigger than I thought oh, right. do I want to ask for this picture because this could be an ass whooping yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 ass whooping. there's that automatic feeling where you might get your ass whooped even if it's completely irrational right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've had people like another bigger dude as big as you like hey man I would have got you though but but what happened is I blew my knee out oh, at, uh, at, uh, at, oh, at, poly, at Polytechnic oh, Junior College I blew oh, out my oh, knee time, <laughs> are you I was, for real? I was, oh, oh really? I, I, I was supposed oh, to go to Michigan time, though bro. I would have been playing against you Absolutely. <laughs> oh really? Oh, time, I just made that whole scenario no, that's a real thing really? <laughs> a real thing oh man you know what I would have made it to the league but oh, 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 oh. No. yeah that's really? real I get that all the time man I, I blew my knee out of Polytechnic Junior yeah, College. Yeah, I, was, I was D1, man. I was going D1. I was go oh, I was D1, and yeah. then I was going D1. I blew my knee out, man. That's the, is, the, is blowing my knee out the main thing that people say when oh, they talk about how they went to the league? I tore my, my, like my, my rotator cup. Yeah, like his, his grades probably weren't right or none of that. You know, but, you know, he's like, man, I blew my knee out, man. You know, Ohio State stopped recruiting. Oh, Ohio State! I was gonna be in your class. <laughs> I was Look, I was gonna I was gonna be on the other side of you. Stop, <laughs> that's, that's just get ridiculous. Like now, what is the most was... ridiculous story you've heard, though? <laughs> of just, somebody coming up to you and like, oh, oh or, the, I used to get this all or the NFL time, story, right? or the real ridiculous get this NFL all the time. Hey man, um, 
I got, hey man, I got this. Back then it was like a VCR tape. I got this tape, man. Can you give it to the scouting department? <laughs> Bro, pull me over at the gas station. And then the same cat, it was funny because we out here practicing at Rams Park. <laughs> and it was open to the public. And we had this hill. And this dude out here, some short shorts, tank top, and he's sprinting up the hill, hold right? Hold on, hold on. Get it. Get it. Hold on. It's like the, it's like the record label. You come up to the studio like this. It's a rap. I'm literally <laughs> trying out at our practice field. Like, dude, run a 40-yard dash. Nobody's watching. There, nobody's watching. So it's homeboys out there. Homeboys out there talking and stuff, right, bro? I am not lying. So this dude is running. He's running. He's running. He's like, he's like, He's like doing like a, a shuttle drill, like he's shuffling, like he's showing his lateral movement, like he's doing it all, man. We like, dude, this dude is crazy. He up there working harder than y'all would. I'm trying to tell you, bro. <laughs> so hold on. He was like, he did the record label. You come up from the record label oh, rap. So like, well, I ain't leaving. I ain't trying to get this deal. Somebody see me, man. This guy was the wacky deal football. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I mean, he out there. I said, Doc, nah, just come on, man. I said, the league don't work like that, man. Yo, show that up. is the crate. That that's it. That's a winner, bro. He showed that's up. a winner. Yeah, he was treating uh, NFL practice like it was career builder, like MD that's or what something. I'm saying. Like, you, you see me running this hill. I'm like, dude. This you is know who fault that is? <laughs> Kurt fault. <laughs> Kurt had folks saying. believing they could be working a nine to five one day and be okay. like, you know what, dude. I can go pro too, then. Brother, there's some cats walking around St. Louis right now who think they can play for the, in the league. Oh, right man. now. Off the street. Hell no. Ain't played since high school think they can play in the league, man. Hell no. I'm telling you. I don't even want I to I ran play. into him. Hey, oh, take this tape for me, man. <laughs> this tape? So the mixtape? So they gave you a mixtape of his of his, of his video? workout, bro. Hey, you, sh you should keep them all and then just have parties <laughs> where you just show people, other people, random tapes. Hey, I'm giving them fake numbers. Like, hey, man, um, just call this number. I'm giving them, like, the, the receptionist number of Rams Park. And, <laughs> Hey, let her deal with it. So like, that, I mean, I would, but my thing is, I wouldn't even think it'd be like if I saw after like, yo, let me give him my tape. And how do you have your tape in your car on call like That's that? What I'm trying to tell you. He, he's sitting like they got a gas station right outside of Rams Park. This cat sitting out there, so somebody gonna get gas. He handing out his tape, man. Oh no! So he stalked y'all basically. Like basically, they're gonna get off work in a minute, absolutely. and they gotta get some gas. Somebody gotta, gotta, gotta get they some gotta gas. Put me on. They put me Somebody on, gotta get bro. some gas and a Pepsi. Try so they put a call over. Hey, big old, big old, hey man, can you get this to the scouting department? I'm like, oh, this. did he look like he was fit at least? He looked like he was fit. Like he probably played in high school or something. He looked like he was in shape. How long did it look like it had been since he was in high school? This old cat though. He was probably like 30 at the time. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, trying to no. come off the street at 30? You trying to get a Disney movie started up? Like I'm. Talking <laughs> I'm telling you, it was the funniest thing in the world, man. I'm telling you. I used so, to get that Kurt Warner made it worse, though? You think? Oh, yeah, because Kurt did it from Arena League. Yeah. So, if you played a lick of Arena football... Oh, every, all them cats. See, the worst thing that happened, though, when Kurt came out was is that they was dropping that whole shop, that shopping uh, clerk, like he was working up in the CVS. He worked, yeah. No, it was a high V. It was a high V. High, high V. And nice. and groceries, so, 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 now you got cats that's working at Taco Bell, like, taking that, taking yeah. their little apron off, like, you know what? Any minute now. Yeah, I'm in this thing. I'm working out. All you need to do is go down to the damn dome and look at this dude who clearly had been playing football the entire time doing this, throwing tight-ass spirals <laughs> 45, 50 yards. Bro, you're not doing that. But they think they are, though, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Or they race the cat in the hood, and they be like, dude, you're trying to <laughs> You know you what I mean? Should, you ever thought about going to the league? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know the hood how you messed up. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, man, I played in high school. You know, I was the fastest one in school. High and school, you beat me. And you beat me. <laughs> you beat me. <laughs> you, tell, you can do what Tory Hope doing. You can do what Isaac Bruce doing out here, man. See, this is what I hope the XFL return doesn't become. Oh, it is. Well, oh, you, oh, that's a group. Oh, it is. That's, let's go into XFL. Bro, that, that's, bro, every, bro, I'm telling you, there's some cats in the gym right now, Sam. Cats like, it's on. It's on. We back. <laughs> We back. We up. back. We cats, back. Oh, cats is walking bro. out of pizza. Hey, Hut. I ain't like, gonna I'm front. I'm thinking about getting season tickets, man. Me and Matt talking about thinking about getting season tickets. I don't even know, if Big O, you want to go in on these season tickets? No, no, just don't to, go. Don't bro. go, man. Don't go. No, no Big O. We get, get a box. Tryouts, we get a box man. seat though, or something. No, doesn't bro, kick it. I just want to go to the. I want to go to the trial. It's gonna be a lot of walk on cats. Oh, so you want to see the trials? I want to see the trials. We need to make it like a reality show. Big O, what if they call you to be a coach? I'm not. Can't coach, but I go out there and tell them. You want to coach? No, no, I can't coach. No. You're not a good coach. I'm not a good coach. Oh, you say in general. Both thought coach. about coaching only one time ever that I've heard of when Never. they when they announced <laughs> the type of money that dude was making down in Miami. My he was like, point, what? He was like, is that normal? Because it's <laughs> 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 I had no idea. He said, over two million dollars. He's like, what? They give a visa and a clipboard. Like, I might be coming back. I can set up some plays. Two million dollars. 
So if Vince McMahon call you like, well, big O, we want you to be the offensive coordinator for your St. Louis Stallions. I, I wish you well. <laughs> hope they have a ton of success, brother. But it is going to be that first year is going to be rough. Oh, it's going to be tough. That's going to be really, really tough. There's going to be know. a lot of bad football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because now it's not like it was before. You're going to have multiple leagues competing for these same people. Because they got another one with Ricky Williams, and then that's dropping. Well, that's right? the third one. But they got that. Was it the, the AFL or so, something? No, like no, let me say that. So if you're listening, mm-hmm. there is a chance there because there's a lot of opportunity out here like to get to get some real good tape. Yeah. If you can run, I mean, you got a shot. Why not? I mean, you still got passion for the game. It's gonna be. You think it's gonna be cats coming back from Canada to play? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Because that's an extra check. Extra check. Why not? Oh, go for it, I, man. I, I need somebody here. to come out when he hate me again, or die. I love that though. Dude, we can still talk. We can still talk about that from. <laughs> and can we make in the stripper cheerleaders? Oh yeah. yeah, that was a legendary move he made right there. I hope he <laughs> didn't get burned by that so yeah, quick now yeah, that he yeah. starts to act like it's a. Oh, we're we're more focused. But he said he could do nickname. They said he can do the nicknames too. The nicknames oh, cool, was hot, though. I really like the. I, I really want to keep them cheerleaders. Cheerleaders are cool too. But dude, but think about it. he still made the league though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. That was. I'm so, saying I, like wasn't Tommy Maddox in that too? Tommy Maddox was in there. Well, um, what's cool though is in that league you can brand yourself, right? In the that's league, what he hate me. In the NFL, <laughs> it, it's all about team protecting the shield. In, in the XFL, man, he had you could put Pace Picante on the back of your thing. Got a check. <laughs> That's what, that's what guys need to start doing, man. Let's get your sponsorship, my man. Individual you know, you sponsors. Just have Because uh, what was a boxer I saw once that got a drawing of the Caesar's Palace on his back? Yeah. Or like the Golden Nugget or something yeah. on his back. It was in marker right. on his back while he was boxing. Or, <laughs> or you can endorse wave caps. <laughs> 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 hey, but the only problem got that ever flow. No, wait, hold on, do you want to wait? Do you let the wings flow while you play? Yes. So you, <laughs> so, hold on, so you run it down. You got it. You only could be a receiver or a running back. Oh, what if you be a quarterback with the wings? Don't let the wings just flow while you go back. You sitting there in that post game press conference with like three people watching. What you got on, man? Wave cap. I got that bow wow joint. Yeah, the <laughs> the oh, special yeah. edition too for your team. You yeah. got the you got the team laced out version. Absolutely. Because if I'm the do rag company, if I'm the do rag company, I'm getting y'all made joints. I'm, how many players y'all got? Fifty. I'm sending y'all all free wave caps. Fifty piece, man. Yeah. The overhead what? is so low. You can't even hit them with. Because you can get so much pain though off of it on the back end. Absolutely. <laughs> you hey, XFL, you know XFL, what? we giving y'all ideas. Bring us in, man. We'll do the uh, for our marketing if we could do it as like a part time thing that don't get in the way of anything else we need to do. <laughs> like, I don't like including zero. this podcast. As long as it doesn't get in the way of the things I need to do already, I'm down. I, I got some ideas for you. So, yeah, can we talk NBA for a minute? Yeah, let's do it, man. So, I went to the Nets game, man. About to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you been living a good life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice meals. What you, you eat, this, what you eat this time? Oh, it's more, it's more, when what I you went, eat this time, yeah? When I went, oh, man, I, I had I didn't a, see any pictures. I was out of the country, so I couldn't. <laughs> I, did, I did have that. I had on there, though. I know you did. Uh, <laughs> I, <had a> little <laughs> talk. <laughs> I had the halibut, um, nice. the, the uh, wasabi halibut oh. at uh, a place called the Aquafina uh, uh, Grill and Fish in uh, Tribeca. Nice, oh, nice, Look nice. at all these keywords you dropping. <laughs> nice, yes, sir. So I, took Javon, so I took Javon to the, uh, to the next game for his birthday. Okay. So we, we now, uh, if you take somebody to a Nets game for their birthday, I mean, you like them or you just doing what's available? I mean, I've been friends with them since the fourth grade. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, them Nets are play. play. Oh, that's, that's what I want to get into. That's what I want to get into. They played the Wizards. Oh, okay. And beat them by 20. Wait, the Nets yeah. did? Yes. I don't think you was hear me with us? The Wizards got problems. No, you could tell their body language, man, yeah, yeah, was all off, man. Like Bradley Bill didn't look he didn't look happy. You know, Bradley Bill normally kinda smile. He did not look happy. John Wall looked like I got a club reservation at the club. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's a bottle yeah. popper. Yeah. But he's a but he's a bottle popper though now. Yeah. And he, he looked like I got a reservation at eleven. Let's get this game over by ten fifteen. I got stuff. So I, I got stuff I gotta do. We're just talking about those cities, New York, <laughs> New York cities, man. He uh he uses the NBA as his as his part time job to get back to his full time. It looks sad, man. You it looks really? sad, like cause it, they lost by twenty to the Nets. And the problem with that with the Wizards is they max so many players out. They can't move them. They can't move them. anything. John Wall <laughs> next year bumps up to forty one point two. You can't trade that. God. Yeah, you're gonna be, yeah, you're getting it Bottle popping legend. 41-2? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 41-2 a year? For what's, what's, Bra- what's Bradley at? Like 
twenty something right now. Like twenty five. I think you move Brad though. You can, you can move, move him. Brad. You can move him. They was talking about. I was hearing a thing not too long ago. They was talking about would that be one of them um, like bridge contracts the Lakers to take on. And I was like, Brad would feast with LeBron. LeBron would put that ball in his hand. But why don't you max out Otto Porter though? Yeah. To, to, to keep him from the Kings. Like, let <laughs> if anybody should <laughs> be on the Kings, it's Otto, Otto Porter. Porter. <laughs> let him go out to that wasteland of Sacramento. <laughs> like, let him go out there. And they've been taking cats like that for years. That's it. That was supposed to be what happened. See, that's what happened. They fuck with the natural order. <laughs> Otto <laughs> Porter was supposed to be a king, and they overstepped themselves. And now they, they played themselves. They traded Gortat. He balling it yeah. with the Clippers. My thing was, when you watch the Nets, did you know three people that were playing on the net? Maybe uh, five right now. Oh, it was getting kind of bad because I start boo- I got drunk and start booing Austin Rivers. Oh. Why does everybody hate Austin Rivers though? He just don't look like he just look like a dude. I, I Wait, he played for the Wizards though. Right? Yeah, but I'm saying, but it got bad because so I, lo- I was literally just, just sitting up, standing up, just booing him at one point. And you then, were up, yeah, and then just kept on yelling Bradley Bill SEL in the house every time he was at, he was at the <laughs> best life in New York. Yeah, like just Andre three stacks. And then so then, over, like, <laughs> that's why I was sprinting in that band because I, I was like because we was, cause we, was, we was like right there we was like almost up under the goal but like kind of diagonal. So then Javon got drunk. He was like, yeah, SEL, you can see us, Brad. You you looking right at us. <laughs> Brad to shoot a final shot. No, 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 no. We made yeah. sure we only start doing it when it was the uh, second half, oh, okay. when he was only standing on the uh, when he was uh, when he was already down rebound. by twenty five. No yeah. way he could do to bring him. Hey, 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 when they, hey, when the Nets are blowing somebody up by twenty, ain't nothing else to do. Was Kenny <laughs> Anderson playing? Like ninety two, Kenny Anderson. No, there? Russell was on there. Oh, D'Angelo Russell. Oh, it says Javon called D'Angelo Russell. Oh, yeah, he was snitching. Oh, Ohio State guy, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot oh, he was on. that's right. That's right. Um, uh, so D'Angelo Dan Whitty? was on there. He uh, balled. Yeah, he can hook. He balled out. He's nice. He balled out. Um, uh, Thaddeus Young? Thaddeus? It was a Thaddeus Young sighting. Yes, it was. I almost know the starting five for the Nets. Uh-oh. Yeah. This, oh. is, this, um, is, this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm trying to remember who else was on that squad. It was somebody, and I was like, they still in the league? Yeah, that, they are definitely top five. They still in the league team. Yeah, and I was like, because I was looking at the thing, and I was like, I ain't see him playing. I'm trying to look for his number on the side. Like, yeah. oh, there he go right there. I forgot yeah. who it was, yeah. man. Yeah, Is it Covington? I think it might be Covington. They sit on the bench, and they just like, yo, give me that 10 mil a year. I'm, I'm already, I'm locked in. The you all ain't airport team. Me. He like, I didn't even pack a jersey. I didn't have to see. <laughs> you went out to Sacramento. You see a couple of them cats on them bitches out in Sacramento too. Like, dude, are you still in the way? That's why when I look at Vince Carter and I be like, dog, Vince is still out here balling. Vince got drafted in '98. Yeah, he in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah, he was a uh, he was a uh, I went, I went to, uh, okay thought tour again. I was at Golden, the Golden State Atlanta game. Look at all these places. You've been. <laughs> That's why. <fine>. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And it was like it was literally like a dude with his son, like been with been with all the dudes on the on the Hawks, because he's got a gray beard now, yeah. everything, and he's he literally stopping cats like, no, what you need to do is you like, I'm like, so who's coaching the team? Because then I look, the coach is younger than Vince Carter for the Hawks. Nah, dude, Trey Young probably wasn't even born when Vince <laughs> came into the league. Uh, probably was not. Nah. Player coach, man, he had the player coach. Man. Yeah, and I was like, man, is he he just out here living? I, I remember Fareed was the other guy. That was it, Fareed. Oh, Kenneth Fareed. Yeah, he, that seems like I bet you. And Demari Carroll. Demari Carroll. Yep, there we go. I knew we wow. had a Mizzou cat over there. But they had Le- Levert. Levert was bomb, but he's hurt. Gerald? No, Carlos Levert. Oh, that's the piece that Gerald Levert. Damn, that's where he went. He <laughs> down. He oh, it's Shabazz <laughs> Napier. That was the one that was. I was like, oh, oh he could he get a little check. He on the Nets. Yeah, he was. He came out in Miami. Miami, yeah. Yeah. He, he thought that's he was the one that yeah. thought he was gonna stay there and play with LeBron. They thought he was gonna yeah. be that's happened to two guys in a row. That happened to uh, homeboy from Atlanta. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, Alabama. They thought that uh, Shabazz maybe was gonna be that young Kimball Walker when he came yeah, in. Yeah, he yeah. never had that jumper. That's what you don't realize, man. It's a, it's a, it's another huge step when you try to make it to the pros versus college, man. Some cats not ready. Do you think? Do you think, in your opinion, do you think it's a harder jump for NFL or NBA athlete to go to that next level? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say NBA only because it's such a small like the, the, it's, it's ten guys on the team at best so you you know mm. the chances of you being a great is probably limited in NFL you know you got they'll give you a few more years to see if you develop into something but you playing against some grown men in the NFL it's tough to adjust <laughs> to what was like something you looked at when you got to the league like when you was when you was 21 when you started yeah, playing yeah. like you looked around and you was just like yo last year things ain't look like this <laughs> dude when when you know, my first year here in St. Louis, like, dude, we were like four and twelve, if that. Right? It was a good year. 
Yeah, that was, good, yeah. Was, going was that the year that, that, that the Rams started out like three and one or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think my, I, we might, yeah, I think we, we we did okay. Beat the Green Bay like the first game or something yeah. like that. I but do we, remember though, but the thing that shocked me the most, like we lost the game, and you know, I'm in college, I'm you know I might have lost three games in my entire <laughs> college career, and guys are talking about, man, let's go out to the club. Where are we going tonight? I'm like, what? What you mean? Where y'all going? Like, I'm you ain't mad, home, right? You ain't mad. Like, no, nah, we going out. <laughs> So they, <laughs> damn. Like y'all go party? We just got beat by thirty. <laughs> he said we got beat by thirty. <laughs> like man, we have to, we out. I'm like, dude, this is that, that was the biggest shock to me. You took one loss that was probably equal to the total of all three losses. I'm in like, college. I'm going back. I had to go watch film. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to get better. How can we get better? These guys are like, nah, man. We going to the east side. I'm like, what? <coughs> oh, oh shit, damn. Like, that was like that's like that's like being an alcoholic. <laughs> like we're saying, like man, I need me a drink, and then but you go, you go, you drink it straight out the bottle. You ain't just having, you ain't pouring. You drink it straight out the bottle on the east side. I'm like, yeah, man, yeah, we, we out of here, man. We wow. out. I'm like, all right, yeah, all right, cool. I'm gonna go home, man. So I'm sick about this loss. <laughs> so there was a culture change at some point that oh, was. Yeah, absolutely. I guys are like, like, yeah, you win every year. Well, those Tuesdays probably help with the culture change, so. Oh, too. Absolutely. <laughs> but, uh, well, <laughs> mention it, staying in, in, so in NBA, <laughs> staying in NBA. But uh, with the with the players from the Bulls that revolted. Oh, yo, <laughs> oh, like, you so, heard about that? What was that? <clears throat> oh yo! So the, the Bulls, Bulls, the Bulls, yeah. Bulls got fed up with their new coach. New coach oh, yeah, came in. Tra- he was showing the conditioning. Yeah, there, they right? said they lost. No, he was saying they lost. They got, y'all got to come practice more. They're like, no, we off. And they said like they had to run like wind sprints on Sunday after they lost that Saturday night <clears> before. <throat> right. And like, and the Bulls said, no, nah, bro, we're not doing this. Like, we ain't doing this. Like, they like straight up staged a coup. Like, right. we're not gonna. That's play what happened when we got that. Guaranteed bread, though. Mm. Mm. It's a big difference. It's a big also, difference. I heard the only two players, the only three, guess who the three players that didn't win in the text message chain to know that they weren't supposed to come to practice? Who? Name them. You can name them. I know the ones that made them act, made them. Well, I'm sure the three oh. players that weren't in the text message chain amongst all of the players let everybody know. Parker. No, he was in this text chain. Who was there all white guys? <laughs> you could name the three players. Marketing. Uh, no, 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 no. The no. way that the way that the story that when I got it was is that Lori Marketing and Robin Lopez were the ones that, that weren't in the text chain though. But they weren't in the original one. But they came to them before they went off and like did it. Like, hey, y'all, this is what we gonna do. Yeah, but I said, but they weren't in the original uh, cool area. No. Like, there's like, but they, they we got like, like Zach we got like, Levine and like Chris Dunn. <laughs> we and, like, got, the I think we do like, got. Yeah, okay. I forgot we ain't, they ain't in the text chain. It's like when you don't want to go to work and everybody's like. Oh man, it's the snow chain. You ain't supposed to go in. And like, hey, oh dang, we ain't called him. They going in to work. <laughs> we did that. We did that one time with St. Louis, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. We uh, Dick Vermeil was killing us. Three hour practices. We're like, man, we ain't going out. So Dick, Coach K, man, yeah, we'll cut practice back. We had like team meetings, guys standing there yelling <laughs> and screaming. He's like, yeah, we'll cut it back. He cut like fifteen minutes back. Was that enough? He went back up to three three hours, like the next. Two, three, eight. Oh, shit. So he just gave me, yeah, I'm like, Dude, come on. Like, how often, like, in the course of the season do you think that, like, the players end up having to be, like, you know, like a mini union of you having to, like, stand up, you know what I'm saying, and be like, yo. Let me say this. I think, you know, for, for those who haven't been in, in, in those in those meetings, like, whenever they say they have a team meeting, players only meeting, mm-hmm. that's when you know you're in trouble. Oh, wow. Ooh. And then you sit there, you hear guys just get up and bark and say they gripes, but nothing really really is resolved. Right. Like, if I don't like you when I walk in the meeting, ain't nothing somebody gonna say in the meeting gonna change my mind. So, you know, it's just a, it's dysfunction. You might come out and rally for that next game. Uh-huh. But the, you know, the problems exist. You know what I mean? Damn. It's a little overrated. But we've had those players, when we were losing, we had some, we had some meetings like that. It was like, dude, let's just go play. Get it done, boy. Let's just get it done because it ain't gonna really change it much. Really change. That's, yeah. what, that's what Coach Mel said. Yeah, we'll give you 30, 30, 15, you know, 30 minutes off or whatever. Satisfied for that day, he was right back up for three hours and Dang. full pads the next week. Hey, I guess before we turn the corner and end up this episode, I'm gonna ask. Uh, first of all, do y'all want to do y'all want to uh, get a beverage before we turn on to the uh, OG advice of the? Of the yeah, week? I was gonna say we can take a break. Yeah, let's <laughs> we, take go to, a break we go to we go to OG the OG <laughs> love connection advice. Because <laughs> we're about to get some real life advice for some real life problems featuring Offset. Oh, wow. <laughs> Welcome to the OG Love Boat. <laughs> no, the Minnesota edition. Oh, no, the Minnesota edition. 
All right, man. Let's introduce this, man. All right, man. So we got the, you know, we like to we like to get some uh, some OG advice every time we do the special edition of the, uh, of, the of the scenario. So um, as everybody I think knows right now, um, the brother Offset is in a is in a tight situation, both publicly and privately. Uh, <laughs> o- over the weekend, uh, you know, he's been uh, you know back it up a little bit. Even though I can't imagine anybody listening to this doesn't know about that. Uh, you know, he's been trying to get back Cardi B after, uh, you know, getting caught, getting, caught in a, a in, in, in a, getting caught in a very loose situation, <laughs> a very, very loose situation. And, uh, you know, he's been you know, not shy about doing what it takes to, you know, get his message out into the public. And uh, he went as far this weekend as to grab the mic on stage at one of her shows and make it be clear that he needs her back in his life. And uh, it still seems to be rather unresolved. Now... To me, oh, uh, this seems to be one of the reasons why I struggle to understand the generation that's developing up underneath me. Because this just seems to be tactics that just would not exist in, in, in years past, to say the least. Yeah, I think when you look at the situation, uh, when you go on the stage and, you, and you're essentially begging for your, your wife back, <clears throat> let's start off with one simple rule. Love, uh, sweetheart, he can't come off with a bra. <laughs> bra. Like, you can't get a woman back simply off of calling her. But you ain't talking to your boy, your homeboys, cast in the hood. You trying to win this woman back. Mm-hmm. And you say bra. You need to be talking to her like I love Shasta. You, bro. I love you. I miss you, bro. Come on, man. That's your wife, man. You need to be talking to her like Shakespeare at the very <laughs> least. I was to tell you. But what he needs to do, ultimately, and we've talked about this offline, and, and I think Cardi needs to understand it's a business decision, right? Mm-hmm. I think they're stronger together than they are apart, though. Because that's still new money to me, in my mind. Mm-hmm. That's still is recent money. There's a lot of upside in yeah, that relationship yeah. that could be had. Yep. Yeah. You're right? Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be. It has to be. Because, I mean, anytime you're breaking a But they're fight, managed by the same people. They got the same PR. They got everything the same. Just had a see, you know. So if anybody group. need to be keeping them together, it's them people. Oh, absolutely! I think that's you know that's. They're the ones that let them. Let the, they're the ones that got them to do that. Like right. set, like the publicist is the one that was like setting up him the stuff. Because he's starting get... to see the danger in, in, in <laughs> it's that. Like, no, it's the big picture. They like, hey, don't mess up our money now. Hold All on, right? We need to get them back together. together. They got a new album coming out. Now you need to promote that situation. Because he he didn't drop the album because of the drama that came out. I mean, was we all sitting back waiting on that offset? Uh, the, I mean, I didn't want to, but I'm saying, but the hood was. I, were they? Okay. Until that Cardi B stuff happened, man. And it's like, Cardi B has got that almost, getting it close to that Beyonce level of teflon Yeah, you don't want, what they call them, like the Cardi B fan club? Yeah, you don't what want is them it? to have a bad taste. The Bardies or whatever, the Bardies or whatever. Is that what they call them? Yeah, the Bardies. I didn't realize, it, I didn't, until this thing started, I didn't realize that Cardi B had got to this level of, of ride or die them. Like, I've seen some women on the social media that say some, just some defense that it's like they're in the Secret Service. Like, they're throwing <laughs> their body in front of the bullet for, to get this off. Let me ask you this, though. Mm-hmm. Did he actually have the threesome? Yeah. He had it? Yeah. I thought, I thought I saw on TMZ one, the, the other girl denied it. Didn't but the one girl said it did happen. The other girl she said did. it did happen. Oh, did she? <laughs> yeah. The Wait, other girl said it happened. The girl that was in it? Probably yeah. Happened. And she said she was pregnant, too, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh, that'll, that'll, that'll do it. Oh, this. Yeah, it gets, it gets bad, man. Oh, that changes the game. Yeah, Ooh, he just shanked this whole thing. Yeah, that changes the game. Entirely. But I mean, do but did we really think a guy like Offset would be on the up and up? <laughs> like, well, no, like, I I'm just saying, like, I mean, it's not like, I mean, his, his name is Offset. <laughs> I, I had no expectations for him, but I guess my big thing about it is about the tactics that the brother is deploying to try to get things back right. Like it just seems like he's, he's also in a Whitney Houston video too. I found out what he's in like uh, one one of the Whitney Houston videos. Uh, like uh, one of them songs, Whitney Houston songs. She he was in his her music video. Like back in the day. Yes. What? Back in the like mid nineties. Yes. He's one of the kids. So you think he was hanging out with Bobby? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying that. Just an extra in the video. Extra. Man. But I'm just saying, you see Bobby back there, like, you, people start to look up to Bobby, man. Bobby has that kind of charisma. And he's the king of R&B. The question is, does he win her back? Does those tactics work, getting on stage, begging for her? No. Uh, the problem is, do you think that he would have had her back already if the kid wasn't there? Because she's still bound to the bread with the kid. My whole thing is, though, Cardi has options, though, right? She wasn't the hottest, if not the hottest female rapper. She is the she hottest. Has, I would say she, she is. She has options. Yes. 
she go. I mean, she. I mean, she gonna land on her feet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, me. I mean, he's in the hottest rap group. Yeah, but she. She probably getting a bigger check. Yeah, cause they split in three. A three check. A check three. Well, I say one is getting half, and then the other two is splitting the other fifty. Third, <laughs> and then are, are you saying that? You saying they splitting the third? You saying <laughs> you, the, you saying? I don't know. You, you no, said, I don't know. Uh, uh, direct from Big O. No, 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 no. I have no idea. Quavo getting sixty six percent. I just know. I just know it's, it's a difference between split three check, uh, one check, three wins. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Cardi, and and we know rapper. Quavo ain't splitting his check three thirty three and the third. Yeah. Well, I know that for sure. Quavo set up good. He's kind of looking at this whole thing. What do you say if you Quavo, Daryl? Right now, if you're Quavo in this situation, what are you saying mm-hmm. to your nephew, Offset? Which is crazy that ne- that's his nephew. Mm-hmm. Um, how about look your nephew? Um, you need me to drop another solo album? Mm. You need to hold some. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like to me, Offset's been coming across as the brother who wants that old thing back in a little bit too extreme of a manner. Does he want her back? Or does he want his, his money back? I think he want her back after she dropped that video giving them instructions on how to get the job. That's her that's old, though. I don't care. It means it's old knowledge. It means it's been practiced and reinforced in the time. But since. when you're at that level of the game, though, it's probably a dime a dozen that's on that same stuff, man. I don't know. Maybe she put that thing, that number one thing on him. And you now see the two other girls that he was right? messing with? That is pretty bad. I ain't going to front. If I was a young dude, yeah, let me if I was a young dude, that. I'd be on it. Let me say, women. I think women change, though, right? So when you, if you're if you're offset and you with Cardi B, he probably doesn't look at her the way most fans look at Cardi B. No, right? Because right, just you've been around, are you constantly? You like this bitch probably got on my nerves at some point. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying because a wise man told me once, every woman that you think is fine is some dude trying to get her off the books right now. <laughs> yeah, that's real OG knowledge right there. It's, 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 a, it's some dude right now trying to get her off the books. It's as fine as you think she is and fine as you like, man, I will be with her. It's a man right now that's trying to get her off the books. <laughs> true. Trying to get that salary cap cut. Trying to get, yeah, you got the guaranteed money paid. Absolutely. All says coming across, though, is a dude that ain't trying to get off the books. I don't know if this is a, a ploy to try to save face or what. But to me, it, it seems like it's a very genuine cry for help. And, and, and I, I wish the brother all the best in finding it because it seems like he needs that something to balance him on out. But you know what that is. It takes time. That public stuff. It, I mean, it's, it's cool. But you got to know how to approach it, too. You can't just be popping up. And she, you know. Yeah. Don't come over unannounced. You don't want to know. Yeah, because you, you don't want to. You don't, you don't never want to come over Very unannounced. True. Very true. Even if you got a key. Don't just be popping up. <laughs> even if you, got a, if you got a key, even more, because you don't know what's going to be Ooh. when you open that door. I said got a key. He got the key to the city. He out here in public. He on Instagram. He on Twitter. He doing everything he needs to do. But he can't get it right. Mr. Can't Get Right. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if we can advise this brother out of this situation. We got plenty of experience in trying to finesse the scene for some people. I think I think it all. Got, I think it, if it happens, it got to be behind the scenes. Yeah, you can't like, be out there doing that. You can't be public. Like I hate public public at, proposals too. At, at that point, who are you doing it for? Are you doing it for the show, or are you doing it to really win her, win her back? Though? That's what you got. That's what you got to say. Mm. Right. Mm. I mean, what's the synopsis? What, what's actually happening? In the court of public opinion, you trying to win that, or are you trying to really actually get her back? Because that's a whole different thing. Well, what's the advice that? You, oh, what's the advice you got for young brothers out there that might be uh, <laughs> that might find themselves in, in, in a, a situation where they need like some that. guidance? First and, of all, and brothers, don't it. do it, brother. Don't do it. <laughs> I'll be the first one. To or as we call it, tampering. Yeah. Don't be, you know, don't be in a tampering <laughs> yeah, situation. Don't be in a tampering situation. You know, first of all. But. Obviously, I mean, you know, we, we've, uh, you know, whatever mistakes are made, man, just uh, if you're true, and that's really what you want, man. But some cats don't realize that until they get jammed up, man. Mm. Some cats don't realize that's the, that's the woman they want because the grass ain't necessarily always greener on the other side. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get to the other side and ain't nothing but some concrete over in that motherfucker. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And that's in real relationships, man. Right, he said that's a real one. Ain't no, ain't no that's that's celebrity. Cats ain't going to people's jobs and saying, hey, take me back. No, we're going to work on this thing. If she's willing to work with you, you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta eat a little bit of uh, humble pie. Sleep on the couch for a little bit. Sleep on the couch. You know, well, big old don't have to worry about it. Sleep in the bedroom. Oh, make sure, you, make sure all, all those house duties are done the correct way. <laughs> so big, hold on, big old in there fold laundry. 
Oh man, you put them lights up on the house. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I, just, I, can, I just picture Big O all on the clothesline. I, I know you know he ain't got no clothes. I can see Big O on the clothesline. I've been in that situation, but I know some brothers that have, man. And, and they be out there having to get it done. Get, after. get it done, whatever she said. Hey, when you see that humble, when you see that humble get handed down, boy, that humble will find you. Have you seen anybody get busted in the club while they trying to bottle pop? Oh. I now you know we need the OGI. We need to have my old dude come on because my old dude saved some some marriages back in his hotel days <laughs> with cats that had different situations happening in their room and baseball people, mm. and, and then their wife show up in the mm. middle of the road trip. Mm. Ooh, mm. I always say that's different though, right? So if you see it with your own eyes, that's a whole other animal, right? Versus you heard, heard about, about it. it. That's a harder thing to get over. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It don't is. ever challenge somebody's pride. Cause when you challenge their mm. pride, that's a whole different level of something you got to come back. Have you to. seen somebody get busted like that with the players where she just showed up and he was like, they bottle popping and y'all bottle popping is like. I've seen some cats straightened up in the club. Let me just say that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Where they about to get Have you seen somebody do the thing of just leaving? Wilder. Just Ooh. leave the venue. Just I'm gonna hit the back door. No, nah, they play it smooth. All right, I was wilding about ten minutes ago. Now I'm sitting here real quiet. <laughs> Hold on, the sparklers come out like, don't, no, 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 no. Who ordered that? Who send ordered them, those sparklers? Send them, send, send them, them to AI. Hey, send, send them to AI. AI. Hey, hey, I don't know the difference. Hey, hey, you look at the girl, who who are you here with? Like, how did she get here? I have no idea. Who's this with? Who got these hoes in my room? <laughs> it wasn't me. Then you, then they, you start blaming, the they start blaming, they start, they start blaming them. Oh, they start blaming them. Fifth round player. Yeah, that's a uh, Chris Elliott. Yes. <laughs> yeah, some dude that they you know, ain't no, that much in his yeah, life. Like that's, that's, that's when the crew comes into play. You need a fall guy though. Who's yes. going to be? Ooh, that's something you did not talk crew. about. Is a fall guy. But the fall guy is usually the the utility man. Utility guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Utility, or if you got a really, a really, I mean, your enforcer can step up and do that too. You need a strong wingman. Happy to be here. Happy to be here, cat. You got to just drop that off on the cat. It's just happy to be around. Oh, I've dropped it off many times on some of them. That's the scout team, dude, right there. The scout team will come up here. Take this one for the team. You see, we're going to mimic this play. I know you're getting 150K. This is what it feels like to put another zero on the end of that. All right, Big O, where can people hit you up at? It doesn't matter. Yeah, because they going to hit them back. It anyway. doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I mean, we got to promote them still, no, though. You can email us and we'll get you <laughs> the best. Actually, the best way no, to get man, to Big no, O is to email no, us. Man. O, o yeah. got some new stuff coming out, man. Absolutely, yeah. We're going to be we're gonna be on the format, man. You guys have, uh, you know, got me on. I really like this podcast format, man. So we got some new things coming up uh, in the next few months. So. Yeah, which, where, where can everybody hit you at? Oh. You know, Orlando Pace underscore HOF, man. So is, is Instagram too or just Instagram? Instagram. All that. So Instagram too. Yeah. Right. OG hour. I gotta, hey, y'all gotta have me back on. You, hey, this is your hour. This is my hour. This is your OG hour. This is your hour. This is reserved for you. You. This is you. The OG hour of Orlando Pace. And we'll get back to those emails, man. So shoot, shoot this ain't even a scenario person. episode. It's the OG hour with Orlando Pace. That's it's good. featuring us. Yo, we gonna have some more guests join. <laughs> Around the table, we got a couple more seats at the table, yeah. man. So we're gonna have some more people come in, put a spin on it here. You know, hear about some different things as well. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of like uh, when uh, Jim. It's kind of like uh, uh, we were in the deal, the group, the deal together, and we we uh, baby face. Oh, damn, man, I gotta be LA Reed. <laughs> yeah. Why well, I gotta be LA Reed? Because I call baby face. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but we produce it for other people now. We we, we making our own music too, but the. And, <laughs> I'll tell y'all the story about the Bay said about the deal about how to him and uh, L.A. Re got kicked out <laughs> of the deal. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, you can get the most talented people in the group. Right, right. Make sure y'all email straight at gmail.com and we'll see y'all next OG hour.